while Aquaman swam past Batman v Superman at the worldwide box office weeks ago, becoming the highest grossing DCEU movie of all time, it is only now beating that ultimate matchup at the domestic box office. On American shores, it is now the second biggest DCEU movie, though its international popularity knows no bounds. For a long while, Aquaman was considered the joke of the DC universe and back in the early teens, when DC films and Warner Bros. announced their upcoming DCEU slate, no one imagined that Arthur Curry would reign as king on the big screen. The James Wan-directed Undersea Adventure opened early in China, where it has proven to be a huge box office hit. Here in the States, it opened in the crowded Christmas frame, snagging a first weekend box office of $67 million. While that may not have been as mighty as previous solo superhero outings, Aquaman only continued to earn more money as the weeks went on. Though it was liked by critics, it was loved by audiences, with word of mouth carrying it into January and February, where it is proven to be a real powerhouse. Aquaman has surpassed the $331 million mark after this past weekend at the domestic box office, putting it in front of Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice. Though, it hasn't been able to catch up with Wonder Woman just yet, which finished its run on the big screen with $412 million in 2017. Aquaman's run is even more impressive when one considers that Batman v Superman opened to $166 million during its first weekend, compared to Aquaman's $67 million take. As it stands, Aquaman has taken in over $1.13 billion at the worldwide box office. It's not just the biggest DCEU movie of all time, but it surpasses all DC movies on a global scale, including all of those starring Batman and Superman. That's no small feat. After finding such success, Warner Bros. and DC Films are already planning Aquaman 2, though James Wan has not confirmed his return as director. While Aquaman 2 is a no-brainer, Warner Bros. is also creating its own Aquaman universe operating away from their other DC movies currently in development. And the first spin-off will be The Trench, which follows the undersea monsters that attack Arthur and Mary midway through the original. It is being set up as a horror thriller within the DC on-screen universe. Aquaman made his debut in Batman v Superman, though in a blink and miss cameo. He was our major fixture in Justice League, an ensemble superhero adventure that was plagued with problems, garnering poor critical reception and low box office. Most consider it a bomb, and it is single-handedly responsible for shaking up the DCEU, with the studio going in a different direction. This report comes from Box Office Mojo.